What's going on guys, it's Valrico here with another hot, disgusting, beast, analyst gameplay. And this time we're playing Call of Duty Ghost, free for all the strike zone. We got thrown in the game, but I make the comeback. Let's do this. So I'm sitting at home and I'm watching TV and I'm watching this channel that we have on my um, package called American History Channel. I don't know if it's in everybody's... Um, cable package, but it's in mine, and I was, it's just all about the military, only about the military, they just talk about war, fighting, and history, it's like, better than the History Channel, because now the History Channel turned into fucking soap operas, and killing of Jesus, fucking series premiere, and all that garbage, that nobody wants to watch, but anyway, I'm watching it, and I'm watching this, you know, they're talking about the 60s, or whatever, and the arms race, and the uh you know the nuclear uh, arms race against russia and how russia was whipping our ass and they were like the first to go into space with yuri something something the cosmonaut that went into space and they were the first uh person to launch uh, they launched sputnik into space the russians did and all that stuff and we were losing and like i guess throughout whatever they, you know how the military does they experiment with things and they build things and I'm looking at the TV, and these motherfuckers built a portable nuke. It was like it was called the Davy Crockett, and basically what it was was a tripod nuke that you could just launch it like it was a shoulder rocket, like a uh, like a shoulder rocket missile. And I'm just I put my hands on my head. I said, "What the fuck were these people thinking in 1960s?" And it was like built in like 1962. And I'm like, "In 19, 19- yo, what?" You can't do that, sir. You can't just build a shoulder rocket missile, a nuclear warhead. You are, and it was just a, I got killed right here. I was so pissed right here, or just beforehand. And I get this guy behind this tree, a little pussy ass bitch hiding behind his tree. But anyway, I'm like, yo, you can't do that. You can't just build a tripod nuke, and then just, and you can like move it and shit, and fucking just launch it. And it goes like two miles out and blows up and. You know what I'm saying? Like, radiation, bruh. Are, are you forgetting? Like, you can't do that. Like, we were so ridiculous back in the day. We didn't know shit. We were just fucking experimenting, doing whatever we could do to the blow up the enemy. And, and, and the funniest part was we never even got to use it. They launched it one time at a test range. Oh, this is the best part. There's video of them testing the fucking weapon. They're sitting there, and they're fucking on their little bleachers and they're sitting there and they're they put on their little goggles and they launch this little nuke and it blows up and I'm like holy shit how powerful was that and like the fucking historian that was telling the story about it was trying to downplay it like oh it was only a thousand times less powerful than the one that was dropped in Nagasaki I'm like bitch it's a nuke it's a fucking nuke N-U-K-E the only time you're allowed to call out a nuke is on Call of Duty, okay? Like, that's ridiculous that people thought, like, like it was nothing. Oh, back in the day, we're just going to call out a nuke. Like, what? No. You drop a nuke, it fucks everything up. You're not even allowed to go there anymore. Look at Chernobyl. You're not even allowed to go near that place. You can go kind of close to it, but where it melted down at, you can't even go near it. Everybody that was, like... I watched a documentary on it, and like, everybody that was trying to put out the fire back then, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing with this nuke stuff. We, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we're lucky to be here with these retarded ass scientists we had on both sides, Russia and America. They didn't know, got the battle behind right there. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Oh yeah, we're just gonna fucking, and we're still doing it too. We're doing nuclear power, like what are we doing? If it explodes, it fucks everything up and you can never go there no more and it kills all the fish and kills you and kills everything. Why are we doing it? It doesn't even make sense. We might as well just fuck up our atmosphere and use coal if we have to. I mean, fuck it. We won't be able to breathe, but we'll fucking put on a mask. Fuck it. I mean, but... Nuclear power, though? Like, what? what? Like, look at uh, Three Mile Island. You can't even go near it. Everything's dead. The fish are dead. Everything's dead. Chernobyl. Everybody that tried to put out the fire with their hoses and shit, dead. And like back in the day, and still today, people think it's nothing. Like nuclear power is, oh, we can control it. It's foolish to think that we can control something like that until it blows up in our face. Look at Hiroshima. Fucking, we got nuclear juice 
uh, leaking all over the fucking place. In the water, all over. Just coming across the ocean and shit. And hitting California. Thank God I don't live in Cali. I will eventually, but for right now, fuck that shit. They can't drink no water. They ain't got no good water over there. You can't go swimming. You fuck around and go swimming and come out with no hair on your body and then have cancer two days later. It's fucked up. And it was, it's just crazy I had to share that story because I'm just sitting there looking at the TV like, really? The Davy Crockett. We're just launching shoulder rocket nukes. Okay. But anyway, like and subscribe, all that bullshit. Twitter.com slash Valrico. YouTube.com slash Valrico. And I'm out of this bitch. Peace. That comeback was ridiculous.